Hey everyone, Derek Floyd here, Beautiful Now Podcast, wishing you and yours a wonderful, joyous, loving holiday season. Whether you're celebrating Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, we want to make sure that you're taking a much needed rest, enjoying family and friends, and getting ready for the year ahead. With that in mind, can you believe it? It's the final video of 2019. Wow, where did this year go, right? We hope that you've enjoyed the content we've created, and we hope that most importantly, you've shared it with someone who needed to be uplifted or encouraged, even inspired. And here at the Beautiful Now Podcast, our goal is simple. We wanna give you simple truths that are applied daily, because those are the ones that impact change. Now here we are standing at the door of a brand new year, 2020. And it's a great time to kind of pause and reflect and kind of analyze, take a look at mental inventory, if you will, the decisions that we made that brought us to the moment we are right now. And as you add up your wins and losses, there'll be some things that you learn, successful principles, knowledge, things like that, that you want to bring into the new year to help you grow, achieve more success. But there'll be certain things that you'd love to leave behind. Don't carry those into the next year. I know I've got a few things like that. You too? Let's take a little time together and we'll share a few. Hello again and welcome back. Now I'm normally a pretty motivated person. I constantly keep my goals in front of me and I'm always trying to tweak my habits and strategies to get better decisions or better outcomes to make sure I'm going the right direction and, and live the life that I want to live. But this year I had three specific things that seemed to weigh me down, slow down my momentum, almost keep me from going forward. And I thought they kept me from being the best version of myself. And if I could share these things with someone else, maybe they'd help someone else along the way for 2020. So I thought I'd share them with you. Now, number one for me was anxiety or worry, actually. And I know you're already saying, Derek, we all worry from time to time. I get it. I get it. We all do. But think about this. Worry is actually a useless emotion. It does nothing to clarify or fix the resolution of the problem that you're worried about. And you always end up being stressed out or anxious about it anyway. I found myself going to bed frustrated about a work problem, waking up the next day, still feeling agitated, and nothing was solved. And if left unchecked, worry can actually make you physically sick, give you ulcers, make you feel really bad. So what's the point of worrying? Why don't we leave worry behind for 2020? You with me? And in the words I've heard before, let's let go and let God. Now, number two was brought to my attention by a dear friend of mine who said, you got to stop saying you're too busy. You're making it so that you can't spend time with anyone or you're too tired because you're always telling your body you're tired. And what that is, is negative self-talk. Now, I know you're thinking you're not talking to yourself. You're not crazy. That's not what I'm saying. But a lot of times we say things to ourselves and to others that is negative to our own psyche, negative to our body, so to speak. And our mind will go out to recreate what our mouth is saying. After all, the Bible says the power of life and death is in the tongue. So what you say out your mouth will directly direct what's going on in your life and in front of you. So if you're always saying, I'm too busy, well, you're telling the person in front of you, they're not important enough. They're not going to stop what you're doing because you've got something else to do. You never make time for the most important things. You've got to stop saying you're too busy. Start saying no to certain things so you can say yes to the right thing. What about you're always saying, I'm too tired, but too tired says your body is actually responding to that, making you feel sluggish, unfocused. You're not able to take care of things at work because you're saying you're too tired. So maybe you ought to stop saying that to yourself and get the proper rest and take care of your body. No more too tired. Here's the biggest one of all. I'm not good enough. I can't do that. I know I've said this before when I come up against a problem or something that I'm not really good at, but you know what? You are good enough. You are smart enough. And it may take you longer to get that thing accomplished. We should never say, I'm not good enough. I'm not enough. Because you are fearfully and wonderfully made by the Creator. You've got skills and abilities that no one else has. So always be aware that you can do whatever you set your mind to, if you believe it. No more, I'm not good enough. So think about those three things. I'm too tired. I'm too busy. I'm not good enough. Let's leave those three negative talks away in 2019 and go for it with positive affirmations. No, we can do whatever we set our mind to. Are you with me on that one? I know you are. Now this last one is probably the hardest one of all, and it was a tough one for me to get past this year as well. But it's number three, and that is getting behind or leaving behind past mistakes. And then truthfully, going accurately, it's more leaving behind the guilt from the mistake that you made. 
Now, a lot of times we may have made a bad decision and hurt a family member or a friend. And it's up to us to go to that person and own the mistake and say, hey, I apologize. Ask for forgiveness. Give them the opportunity to talk back and share that hurt. And then put that blame away. Don't carry that guilt into the next year. Be able to say, I am not that mistake. I'm a good person. I'm a loving person. Even if it's a bad decision at work, go own it with the boss. Go say, hey, I made that mistake. I'm sorry. I'm going to fix it. But don't carry the guilt of that thing along with you. You are not your mistake. You are a great person inside. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And you have a great future ahead of us. But if you carry those mistakes like a sack of potatoes on your back, they will slow you down, making you feel like you're never going to reach your goals, that you can't be who you're supposed to be, that you can't have all that God created you to be. Now, as we close this final video for the year, we want to let you know that we're glad that you joined the Beautiful Now family and that we want to encourage you to leave those things behind that we talked about and get ready for a great, prosperous new year ahead. We know there's great things ahead of you. You're specific, you're wonderfully made, you have great talents and abilities that only you can do, and we're so proud to call you family here at Beautiful Now. And if we get ready for 2020, be looking around for things that you can do for others. Share the kindness, share the love and compassion that you have with others. And of course, importantly, share the Beautiful Now podcast with friends. Hopefully, it'll be able to encourage and inspire others next year. Last thing we say, everything we do here is all built around a principle. And it's about simple truths that are applied daily are the ones that impact the most change. So take the simple truths you've learned here at Beautiful Now Podcast. Share them with others. Share them with friends and family. And hopefully, we can change the world one video at a time. Derek Floyd here, Beautiful Now Podcast. Glad you've enjoyed us for this year. We hope to see you soon in 2020. Have a great one, guys. Take care.